In the wide variety of ancient Indian thoughts, the name Shiva echoes as one of the most complex yet deeply respected Devata. Crossing countless boundaries, millions of people love and express their devotion to Shiva in an infinite manner. When looked at from a bird's eye view, there are diverse ways in which people view, imagine or meditate upon Shiva. At the core, Shiva is an energy, an essence that cuts across boundaries and exists everywhere. He is considered a divine entity beyond the conventional idea of time, space, gender and forms, also known as a supreme consciousness spreading through every corner of this universe. Many visualize Shiva as a relatable ordinary man. It is a funny puzzle that Shiva is regarded as a symbol of anger and at the same time the highest expression of love, summarizing the duality Dvandva Bhava within the human experience. For a few, Shiva is a monk who is all alone, soaked in the calmness of a graveyard, a symbolic representation of detachment from the material world. However, the complexity of Shiva's character is seen especially in the spiritual space where he assumes the role of a layakarta. This powerful entity destroys this universe mercilessly. As per this space, people imagine Shiva as the force that turns the world into a graveyard, knocking down and building up existence in a continuous cycle of creation and dissolution. The scholars and devotees highlight the diversity of Shiva by the numerous names given to him, ranging from 108 to 1008. Each name represents a different aspect of him. Yet, Shiva remains a mystery. This documentary lets us understand how the festival Mahashivaratri has guided humanity towards self-realization for centuries. Though Shivaratri is a monthly festival, devotees of Shiva across the globe celebrate Mahashivaratri in the month of Magha on the 14th day of Krishna Paksha, that is, a day before the new moon phenomenon. Generally occurring in February or March, this festival is also officially known as the last day of the winter season. On this day, Shiva's devotees perform various activities and stay awake all night. The activities range from singing, dancing and meditation to rituals. Many devotees even fast the entire day without drinking a single drop of water. A day after the festival, the intensity of their devotion becomes satisfactory when they eat and sleep after sunset. But can a 36-hour intense event like this change the entire course of life? Come, let's search for the truth. In Sanskrit, one of the many meanings of Shiva is Shete Asmin Sarvam Iti, which translates to Shiva is one in which everything and everyone sleeps. In our exploration today, we touch upon Shiva's less explored yet prominent meaning associated with sleep. According to the ancient Indian thought system, sleep represents an inward movement. Imagine being scolded or insulted. How do you feel? Agitated, angry, frustrated. In this mindset, do you react or reflect? 
often we react and fight back alternatively we could think carefully and deeply about the situation at hand time spent voluntarily reflecting upon our thoughts actions and experiences is also one kind of inward movement so inward movement is of two types the first is involuntary inward movement a state of deep sleep when fatigue pushes the body and mind to sleep thoughts actions and experiences halt here sleep lacks dreams though choosing rest is voluntary sleep comes involuntarily when asleep we don't know that we sleep the second is the voluntary inward movement the analysis of the self self analysis means moving inward by withdrawing our minds from the external transactional world here the self refers to our collection of thoughts actions and experiences in the journey of self discovery there are three kinds of self analysis self criticism self acceptance and introspection with self criticism people only see their negative thoughts actions and experiences they criticize these negatives but don't correct them and remain spectators the mute spectators stagnate their own lives and allow disorders to ruin them for instance an irritable person gets irritated easily they know this and criticize their irritability but don't put necessary efforts to change it criticizing negatives without correcting them is ineffective with self acceptance people acknowledge their constructive and destructive qualities however accepting destructive qualities also stagnates growth to grow bad must become good and good must become better without acting against destructive attributes knowledge of the self degrades to mere information for example an irritable person accepting their flaw without change leads to stagnation yet this awareness is way better than self criticism as it also considers the positive aspects of one's personality yes self acceptance comes with balanced self appreciation but acceptance without change is still incomplete finally the most effective one introspection means deeply analyzing one's thoughts actions and experiences the goal is to transform negatives into positives and strengthen the positives this active process brings actual productivity and not passive positivity for example an irritable person acknowledges one's irritability understands the root cause and works to overcome it a person who introspects and judiciously includes feedback will live a life of vibrancy and productivity people who introspect are genuine seekers of growth and progress every human being is a combination of both negative and positive qualities people are selective about what they criticize what they accept and what they introspect upon the connection between the three is complex humanity must patiently look into its life and notice what it criticizes accepts introspects and transforms indeed all the three coexist for a person who chooses the path of growth life is a battle face it to conquer it after analyzing the sanskrit word shiva and its relation to introspection in detail let's move to the word ratri so what is the significance of ratri in the word shivaratri when translated into english 
Ratri means night. However, as per the world's most ancient language Sanskrit, Rati Sukham Iti Ratrihi, which means that which gives joy. Thus, in summary, the one who discovered the joy of introspection has indeed celebrated Mahashivaratri. Metaphorically speaking, Ratrihi does not refer merely to the time after sunset. Then, what does Ratrihi mean? Let's refer to the Bhagavad Gita. In chapter 2, verse 69, a profound insight unfolds, shedding light on the essence of introspection and its relationship with the night. It recites as follows. Yanisha sarva bhutanam tasyam jagarti sayami yasyam jagrati bhutani sanisha pasyato munehe Most humans spend most of their lives chasing the materialistic world. Worldly possessions often seem empowering and enlightening. For humans busy and occupied by the materialistic world, the inner world remains unknown or at best poorly known. Now let us move to understanding a reflective person. In contrast to the worldly personality, the reflective person discovers profound enlightenment and empowerment within the inner world. For this person, the external world loses its shine and glamour. Therefore, its excitement diminishes. Here, the night metaphorically emerges as a symbol of disconnection. A disconnection from the superficial attractions of the material world. This journey of moving inward by disconnecting from the superficial aspects of the world is Shivaratri. Shivaratri is more than a yearly Hindu festival. It is an ongoing daily pilgrimage into the sacred temple of introspection. For one last time, imagine this scenario. What if introspection leads to an absolute understanding of the self? What if an individual consciously removes all the negativities? Such an individual will now stop analyzing and go deeper into experiencing their self, that is, Supreme Consciousness. Experiencing the Supreme Consciousness is termed as Self-Realization. An individual might put the utmost effort into fasting, skipping sleep and admiring Shiva in all forms. But if the celebration of Mahashivaratri stops at an initial level, it becomes just a simple expression in the name of a belief system. There is much more to the festival as narrated in this documentary. Anyone yearning to experience Shivaratri in its truest form should keep reminding the self. Introspection is the golden path to transformation. Mm -hmm.